evening guys, I hope you're all doing well. As you can see from the title, today's vlog is going to be a little bit different and we're doing something that me and James are very excited for and have had planned for the longest time, which is going to the Harry Potter Forbidden Forest. So up near like Cheshire, Manchester way, they've actually done a whole woodland like the Forbidden Forest. So they've got like bits where you can use a wand and get a Patronus. There's loads of the beasts everywhere. There's some of the fantastic beasts, um, animals and stuff as well. You can go to like, I think Hagrid's hut's there, the flying cars stuck in a tree, like all that kind of stuff. And it looks amazing on reels and stuff that we've seen. So we booked some tickets a couple of months ago and I think it cost us about 60 pounds each, no, 50 pounds each in total for a night in the hotel. We just stayed at like a travel, well, we're staying at a travel lodge and, um, I think it was like 30 pounds or something for the tickets each. So very inexpensive if you are a Harry Potter fan and you want to do something like this, but we're so excited. So we're gonna quickly pop into town because we need to do a few errands for the week. And then we're gonna be driving up together. So we're gonna split the journey because it's about four hours. And I'm just so excited. I literally can't wait, it's gonna be so good. So we've got lots of layers. We're gonna bundle up nice and warm and drink butter beer, eat some chocolate frogs and see the Forbidden Forest. Like. I'm so excited. James is more excited than me. He's a bigger Harry Potter fan. He is obsessed. Like, he loves it so much. So, he's currently grinning at me around the corner of the door. But, oh, we're so excited. So, I'm going to take you along with me and show you what it looks like and everything. And I think it's bookable until January. So, if you did want to go, I'll leave all the link and everything down below. But I'm pretty sure it's till, like, mid-January, I think. I know it's definitely running for a little while longer than we're going. So, I'll leave the link down below. If not, it's probably more than likely also going to be there next year. Um, but, yeah, very exciting. It's quite a lot later. We had a three and a half hour drive that ended up taking six hours? No. Five and a half? Maybe five and a half. Maybe yeah. five and a half. It was a blooming long drive. So on the way there seemed to be like two crashes, there was really slow traffic at points and the time was going up not down so it was very stressful but we finally made it. Um, it was quite easy to find. We did use the Google Maps and just typed in Harry Potter Forest Experience forbidden forest experience and it seemed to find it pretty quickly and easily um but we went like a back way so it was all through country roads and i think there must have been an easier way that wasn't because a lot of other cars joined us towards the end of it on like different roads so very easy to get to and very like convenient so far so we're parked in the car park at the moment and we've got like 10 minutes before we need to go in so we just thought we'd sit and charge james's phone up a little bit it's cold but it looks like it's going to be a really good experience like everyone's kind of walking towards where there's loads of like christmas lights in the trees and stuff so it looks like it's gonna be really cool and i'm really excited are you excited? I'm very excited really excited everyone seems to be quite bundled up as well so tip if you are planning on coming definitely wrap up toasty because everyone's in like proper boots and like all that kind of thing so definitely wrap up my camera's about to die so i need to quickly put a new battery in Okay, we've just started the trail, got some mauled wine at the beginning and it's like a pretty easy to walk trail, like you have to follow the path the whole way around. All I will say is come prepared, like everyone's in basically walking boots, James is in Converse and it's quite muddy, so just be warned of that. Um, but as you can hear, they're playing like little clips from the film and stuff which is cool. I'm not even in focus so I'm really sorry but I'll try and make it better as we go around. The light is changing so much I don't think it likes it. Beware of strange creatures in the night. Best not to disturb the forest at this time. This is where you leave. Good luck. Guys, I can't even explain how freaking cool this place is. It's insane. It's so loud that you probably can't hear me. And I don't even know if my little like shutter thing is fully opened, but it's so cool. Like they've thought of everything. There's lights in all the trees. There's music everywhere. It's just magical. <laughs>
we've reached halfway point, so we're gonna grab some butter beer because we've finished on wine. I'm just carrying a cup of like cold ones. <laughs> so we're gonna grab butter beer, and there's like a little shop as well, so we can have a little look in there and see if there's anything we want. Because I'm a million percent getting a butter beer. Hello, always get a butter beer at any opportunity. They've got a little bit where you can hold a wand and basically cast your Patronus and see what you get. So, very cool. We're going to try it in a minute. You just have to queue up in this little bit here and then do it. I'm very excited. Look, there we go. Got the butter bit too. Oh my god, this is so cool. We cast our Patronus and I got a ragdoll cap, always. James actually got a, what did you get? A badger? A badger. You got a badger. Mine was like a ragdoll cat, really cute. No, what was mine? A fox. Mine was a fox. I think it was a fox. Yeah, mine was a fox. It wasn't a ragdoll. Online it's a ragdoll cat, here it was a fox. But really, really cool. As you go through, they've got all cool bits like this, so lots to see. Have to admit, the vlog is struggling slightly because the lighting is so on and off. So it's really struggling to focus on my face, which I know is gonna be really annoying and I'm really sorry, but I wanted to capture as much as I could for you guys. And you don't really care for seeing my face in this. You just wanna see what's happening, so it's fine. <laughs> I can't even get it on video as good as it actually is. It's insane and I'm obsessed and James is obsessed and it's the best money I think I've ever spent on anything in my entire life. It says if you're frightened of spiders, speak to members of staff. So when do I uh, sign up to this shit? <laughs>
so we're in the shop and they do have loads of like forbidden forest experience merch if you wanted it like all here and then they've also got some posters and stuff there's some big ones here and then they've also got like Christmas bits, they've got house bits, so depending on what house you are, you can get different things for your house. And they've got random merch stuff in the middle, or they've got like t-shirts and stuff. So we've picked up a couple of bits here, which I'll show you later. Um, but it's really cool, there's literally so much in here. So I've been over at the Ravenclaw bit, because let's be honest, I'm a Ravenclaw. Um, but they're so cool, so you can get like these and stuff, which I want James to get one, but he will not. <laughs> so to show you what we got, James has got a Christmas jumper and I've got a t-shirt. <laughs> Okay, we're at the end, so we've just quickly run into the shop before everyone else got in there and it got really busy. Um, and now we're gonna have some food. So they've got loads of different bits like fish and chips, they've got like Yorkshire pudding wraps and like all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna get some food now and some more mold wine probably. Or some more butter beer. What do you fancy butter beer and mold wine? I think you need wine after that expensive yeah. little shopping trip. Yeah. <laughs> we got a few little bits, but whew, it's expensive. <sighs> oh my goodness. That was the longest trip ever for a short trip. So, um, oh my God, I don't even know when I last vlogged, but Harry Potter was unreal. It was so good. I highly recommend The Forbidden Forest. I'm sorry some of the clips were super blurry last night. It was just so hard to film because all through the trees, they had like different lights and stuff and there was loads of fog and it was just like all the lights were changing constantly so the camera was just really not wanting to focus and I didn't want to be that person like shining a flash on myself at the same time to get it to focus so apologies for that one but I really recommend it it was so good like we loved every second we do a lot of like Harry Potter themed things because we're both big fans and that was probably one of our favorites so highly recommend and I think it was 30 pounds each and then 20 pounds each to stay in the travel lodge down the road so really inexpensive really really good loved it and then for the entirety of today we were driving home so we left at about half nine ten got back to james's at about three and then i had to drive back here which took me till about half three um in fact it might even have been later than that it might have been about four by the time i got home the clip ended a little bit suddenly i'm really sorry i don't know what happened to that last clip but as i'm editing there isn't any more so i don't know what's going on but Hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe hit the notification bell for more from me and i'll see you in my next video bye guys